So I've lived in Southern California for over 30 years and only recently found out that every summer, hundreds of leopard sharks come to the shallow warm waters of La Jolla, California, which is just northwest of downtown San Diego. I decided to snorkel with the leopard sharks on Sunday during this particular weekend, which you'll see in a few minutes. But first we're gonna take a look at my snorkeling with sea lions at La Jolla Cove, which I did on that Saturday. I've never done either of these two things, so I was very excited. As you can see, it was quite crowded on this summer weekend. In addition, this area was quite odiferous, which basically means it did not smell very good due to the many seals and sea lions in the area. Unbeknownst to me, two hammerhead sharks were spotted in this general area the day before, so I'm glad I wasn't aware of that. You do have to watch out for sharks. 11 foot seven gill sharks are spotted here from time to time, as well as mako and blue sharks, and even great white sharks are in these waters every once in a while. Note to self, bring a spear gun next time. Just kidding. There were lifeguards telling us to stay at least 15 feet away from the sea lions, but I was hoping that no one told the sea lions to stay 15 feet away from us. My plan was to get fairly close to them and hope that they swim by me, and that's exactly what happened. So what's the difference between sea lions and seals? Sea lions are brown, bark loudly, walk on land using their large flippers, and have visible ear flaps. Seals, on the other hand, have small flippers, wriggle on their bellies on land, and lack visible ear flaps. I think what we're seeing here are mostly sea lions. Whoa, that was close and awesome. It was very cool to see these animals up close and personal and in their natural habitat. I really enjoyed it and even made a couple of new friends in the process. The next day I had a reservation with a snorkeling company to swim with the leopard sharks because I don't like going in the ocean and the thought of snorkeling with any type of shark made me nervous. I wanted to snorkel with a small group, safety in numbers as they say. Uh, as it turned out, it's not really necessary to do so, but it does make you feel a little more comfortable. Unfortunately, it was so foggy, swimming was prohibited in the morning and my snorkeling adventure was canceled. This particular company was fully booked the rest of the day, so I walked down the block and signed up with another snorkeling company. So we go out in the ocean and our guy points out a stingray below us. One thing you need to do when you go in the water, it's called the stingray shuffle. Instead of walking into the ocean one foot up in the air at a time, you're supposed to keep your feet on the ground at all times by shuffling them one in front of the other. This prevents you from stepping on the tail of a stingray, which can be quite painful. The water was murky to begin with, and then this guy starts kicking up the sand at the bottom. Great. Note to self, next time snorkel away from other people. We went further out and got hit with some waves, but people started seeing the sharks. Our guy could see them in the waves as they broke. Unfortunately, I seemed to be the only one who was not seeing the sharks and I had the GoPro. Hey, wait, is that a shark? Is it? Is it? Oh, wait, it's just some grass. Damn. Is that a shark? Is it? Ugh, just a shadow. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yes, finally, a shark. It's thought that leopard sharks, who get their name from the brown spots reminiscent of leopard spots, come here while they're pregnant and then give birth elsewhere. The sharks in La Jolla are 97% female and they're all pregnant. These pregnant female leopard sharks are in a sense incubating their developing embryos, like a mother bird sits on her eggs to maintain that ideal temperature for development. One of the best spots to see them is in front of the Marine Room restaurant in La Jolla Shores. 
And this is because the waves are gentlest in this part of the beach. Leopard sharks are harmless. They are bottom feeders and have small mouths. However, they do have teeth, and if you touch them, there is a chance they will defend themselves, so just give them some space. They're about 5 feet long and weigh 20 pounds. The best time to see the leopard sharks here is between late June and early December, but the peak time is between August and September. Up to this point, I wasn't getting a great view of the spots of the leopard sharks, but finally, I did. As you have seen, I had an awesome time snorkeling with sea lions and leopard sharks. I highly recommend that if you're in Southern California, come to La Jolla and start snorkeling.